What's up everybody, it's Gone Turbo here. In today's video, I wanted to share with you a game that I recently got that I wanted to unbox and give my first impressions of. This is the Hunter Call of the Wild 2019 edition for the Xbox One. Now, I've been looking up this game because I saw this, uh, I can't remember where I saw this, but uh, I noticed visually this game looked incredible. Um, and as I explored it a little bit further, some of the some of the feedback and reviews are that this is the best hunting game out there right now for for the Xbox One. And uh, there's a couple of different editions. There's Hunter Call of the Wild, but then there's one that is the 2019 edition. And that seems to be a little bit more improved and a little bit more, has a little bit more features. So this game is, says, the ultimate hunting experience. Explore a vast open world with four different reserves and over 100 square miles of varied terrain. Track and hunt 25 different species from geese and deers to predators like the bear and lynx. Discover a rich single-player storyline or share your hunting experience with up to eight players in co-op or comp competitive play. Develop your character by unlocking a wide range of weapons and skills and equipment as you progress. This is Xbox One X enhanced. Again, single-player, multiplayer, and co-op. Rated T for Teen. And uh, this is by Avalanche Studios and Expansive Worlds. So I, <laughs> I looked this up. I was looking at different reviews. Um, there's folks on Instagram that uh, have posted some amazing screenshots of this of this game, and you're probably thinking, Gon Turbo didn't think you were take you for like a hunting a hunting man. Um, and I've played different hunting games throughout my my gaming life, and um, games on on PC and some on 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 console. Um, the Wii had some really cool hunting kinds of games. Uh, I have some highlights of that way down in the history of my of my channel here. But I wanted to give this one a try. It looked visually amazing and, um, you know, it's kind of cool to uh, to uh, experience a, a hunting ex game. I don't know. Um, just looks, looked, looked kind of neat. So I'm going to unbox this baby and we're going to give this a try and I'm going to give you my first impressions of it. So with that being said, I got my old knife here. <laughs> And we're gonna slice this, we're gonna slice this puppy open. I always seem to say that. Oh, it's already kind of. I really need to cut too much. Garbage. All right, we gotta get the clean peel. So this isn't full price. I didn't get this full price. My last video, I talked a lot about um, I don't buy games full price, uh, and I usually wait till reviews come out um, to make sure that they are that they are good. Um, so you're thinking, well, 2019. This is a little quick to get this, but um, again, I felt confident to to purchase this without any problem. So nothing inside other than the disc. It's all you really need, right? So. All right, we're gonna give this a try. The Hunter, Call of the Wild, 2019 edition. So here we are, Hunter, Call of the Wild on the main menu here. Looks fantastic. If the game is anything like the menu, then we're in for a treat. But uh, yeah, downloading was was normal. Um, 30, I think it's 35, about 35 gigabytes for this game. And um, I think it's 2019 edition because it has a bunch of downloadable content. So it has a weapons pack, um, it has some different maps, looked like Siberia was one of them, a um, couple other big maps. So uh, with the 2019 edition, it looks like you get some extra stuff. So here we are, uh, main screen, new game, settings, downloadable content, credits. I'm going to click new game, let's see what we got here. All right, male, female, option one, three. It's like a little variety of... Uh, I don't know, I'll go with the regular guy. Reserve, Leighton Lake District. Provides hunters from all over the world a taste of the untamed wild with few traces of civilization. Located in the Pacific Northwest. Covered by spruce, large aspen forests, Rocky Mountain slopes. Do -do -do. Moose, black bear, the Roosevelt elk, white-tailed deer, coyote and black-tailed deer. Ah, this is Medvec. Tiaga National Park. 
Where is this? Siberian. Home to brown bear, moose, reindeer, lynx, curious musk deer. Frozen valleys, mountains, and unreliable weather conditions. This is probably the winter, the winter pack. Savannah. Nice. Plains of Verhunga are home to warthog, springbok, blue wild wildebeest. Jackals, hares, Cape Buffalo. Ooh. Parquet? Parquat? Parquet? <laughs> Fernando. This looks like it's in. <laughs> I'm not sure where this is. Um, Patagonian. Patagonia? Grasslands for forest team with black bucks, deer, spotted axis deer, hardy mule deer, magnificent red deer. And here we go, Hirsch, Hirschfelden, hunting reserve. So it just keeps going here, quite a few places to hunt. So we'll go to Leighton Lake District, Pacific Northwest of America. Start game, see what happens. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna, I'm sure it's gonna be a tutorial. Uh, you made it here in one piece. What was storyline? Welcome to the untamed wild. Name's Colton Locke, but everyone calls me Doc. Doc. I'm a warden up here, and I know just about every nook and cranny of this place. All right. I heard this is your right. first time in the Pacific Northwest and Lake District. Well, this here's the best hunting reserve you'll find in a hundred miles. I've been hunting here my whole life, and I still don't get tired of this place. Hmm. Go ahead, All right. look around. There's a lot to discover around here. Not just the big game. Let's see what you can do. Try to find an animal track around here. Alright, so I got a little phone. Let's be on the phone with Doc. Move around. This game is beautiful. Here, all kinds of wildlife already. Look at that. That's fantastic. All right, so where am I going here? I got this little compass. Am I supposed to be following that? I don't know. Don't know what I'm doing. Is this the outhouse? No, I don't know. That's beautiful, though. It's like a real lake. I can run. Press down on the left stick. I don't want to push any buttons. Oh. Use your binoculars to get a closer look. Okay. Use X when looking through a binoculars by an animal. Did I use X? Okay. What am I doing here? Uh-oh, what am I doing? I got a camera? What do I do? What do I do? <laughs> Hold X. Right, take a photo. Uh-huh. Uh, uh. I took a picture. Great. <laughs> I don't want to take no picture. How do I... How do I get my binoculars? Uh oh boy. Hmm. Uh, okay, track. What am I doing? Hmm. Get a little closer. See what happens. Hi. Oh, there we go. Binoculars, there we go. There we go. Ah. I spotted him. White-tailed deer. This looks cool. So what do I do now? Hi. I just will keep going. Get him to see you. Lower your movement speed. And stance while using fully do not be hidden visibility. 
Okay, boss. What do I do now? Got a call. Yeah, it looks like some luring scent. Luring scent. Thought these were grenades, maybe. Oh, my gun. <laughs> what do I do? Are you going to shoot him? We're just going to have right at it. Examine the track. Tracks can reveal useful information about the animals, such as what species they're in, whether they were calm or fleeing, what direction. Okay, it's poop. It's poop. White tailed deer are often slightly bigger than the black tail, but they're quicker to flee if they sense danger. Okay. I guess. It's a grenade. <laughs> I can do it that way too. I'll go back to my phone. All right, so I can examine the tracks to which way it went. Oh, and the phone kind of tells me. Sounds like Richard's gonna need a helping hand. Okay. So. Sorry, you what we got this full-blown survivalist fella living out here all year round. Richard Hope. He got in a bit of trouble, it seems. I can fill you in on the details later. How is a white-tailed jackrabbit dropping? Very old, it says. Huh. So what do I focus on tracking here? Is the deer. The black tailed deer are one of the easiest animals in the reserve to hunt. Still, be wary of your noise and the wind direction, as their senses are quite good. Oh, I can crouch like that. When I can lay down, too. That's cool. Where'd he go? So the wind must be going south. That's what that green thing is. Should I shoot him? I'm just gonna go for it. <laughs> I'm just gonna. Be sure to aim for its vital organs. Heart oh. and lung shots mean quicker kills. Less yeah. painful. All right. I'm not in a good vantage point here. Track animal call. Localization warning call. Gentle now. Take a deep breath to steady your aim. <laughs> nope. He's got the advantage. He's poking his head out. See him. Huh. See him right there. When I do this, it's hard to see him. Track animal call. There he is. There are times oh. when you'll want to be moving fast out here, but not when on a hunt. The animals will hear you coming a mile away. He's gonna take a shot. Stalking an animal to avoid being seen. He is. He is taken off. Oh, he's gone. No. What should I do? I just take a shot. far. My heart's beating fast though. See that in the bottom? My heart's beating. What is that? I want the camera. Get rid of the camera. It's making that noise. You hear that? <laughs> like that.
Chris is guy. He sees me. Let's see. Oh, I took a shot. What happened? So in the bottom you got your ammo. You got your uh am I crouched? Oh. You got your um heartbeat, you got your how much noise you're making. Oh, we got blood. I hit him. Flesh wound. Oh yeah. Fleeing animals will run if, until they feel safe. They hear you, they'll take off, all that stuff. So you kind of definitely have to have... There's no other way to see these tracks unless you put this little indicator on. But what's also neat is you can see the, the grass is like flattened here. To see perhaps where they... where it ran. Whoa. Getting darker out. I'm just, I don't even know if, if I'm supposed to do anything else other than just playing this game. What do we got here? Be careful. The underbrush can be a bit noisy this time of year. Okay. If an animal hears you approaching, you better believe it'll turn tail and run. Or worse. If this is the same one or not. Hmm. There's definitely some uh rabbit some rabbit shit. <laughs> ooh, 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 what's this? Is that it? Did I get him? <gasps> Question mark. Did I bag me one? That's a rock. That's a rock. It's over here. What is going on? What is this? Information? Listen, did you hear that? Calls are really helpful when locating an animal. All right, so that is not the deer. <laughs> hmm. Well, um, this is this is cool. While we're trying to find this deer, this just kind of gets you right into. I got a, a jackrabbit. Oh, there's the blood. I can walk with there the binoculars. So, there we go. I don't know if I like these hands. <laughs> these hands like dun, 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 dun. I don't know about those hands. No way to toggle off those hands. I hear noise. The train track. I hear a train coming. I don't know about this. these hands, though. Look at these hands. All right, I wonder if you can, uh, you can change that. I don't know. So the um, menu here, you got map, mission logs, inventory, skills, perks, codex, hunt, club, beta, and system. Oh, yeah. Oh, so here's your, like, toggling things. Feel the view. Can you toggle, uh, the hands? Hmm. 
Hide hunting HUD. You don't want, I guess you still want the HUD. Field of view. Hmm. You're gonna move back around foot. Money to the level up and down. Controls. We can do a skill on foot. Holster weapon. Oh, you get pushed down to holster weapon. All right. Camera. I don't want the camera. Vehicles. Apparently, it's a four wheeler. You're going to ride around in this. Change view. All right. Let's see what that does. Huh. Oh, it must be a vehicle change view. That's all right. So it's true that you got like all these things that can make noise as you're walking. Oh! Holy shit! Is that him? That's gotta be him. Where's my gun? <laughs> oh my god! Oh, you son of a... He was right there! Oh, poor thing. He pooped. This is cool, like all the how everything moves in the bushes. <laughs> I know it's starting to rain. Track animal call. What am I doing here? Mag manage sites. Select equipment. All right, I don't know. This game is absolutely gorgeous. So, you, like I said before, you're probably thinking, "Am I, uh, you know, when it comes to hunting games?" What I like about hunting games is um, like you're focused on just one thing, right? <laughs> wow, this is gorgeous. This looks really, really nice. If you can tell what time it is. Okay. Whoa, holy moly. I covered just that amount. Look at all that. Look at this land. Holy cow. Oh, it's 10.07. It's it must be 10.07 in the morning. In the right corner. Left corner. Alright. Let's try to get this. Let's try to get this deer. Yeah, definitely like sound and uh and you bump into these branches and they they crinkle and they crackle. So you can see like what's this? You see like where he So when I walk everything kinda gets flattened. We're getting into the pucker brush. We're getting into the pucker brush. So yeah, you know, a hunting game, it can be, it, it, it slows, you gotta slow right down. Yeah, look at these bushes, look at, look at these bushes. Look at this foliage. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not a, like, I've hunted as, I've hunted in my youth. I've never, I've never shot anything, never, saw anything, I mean, a couple times, but uh, deer hunting. Um, white tail deer hunting in my in my day. But uh, never shot anything. Just because I didn't see anything that was I could shoot. 
And, um... What the... Um... I don't have anything, I don't have anything against hunting. At all. Um... Oh, we got... What's that mean? I'm going nice and slow and quiet. <laughs> oh wait, my binoculars. Um, can you do this? Oh, he's right there. He's injured. He's injured. All right, let's get down. More hunting wabbits. used to the interface here. It's bleeding, so that's a hit. Follow the blood trail to find it. Shouldn't have gone it did. This is a. Uh, so he went here, and then. What is this stuff? There's other deer tracks. Because there's more deer. One of the things I read about this game is that, um, you know, it's not an easy thing to just um, hunt an animal. It's not like Arcady where you're going to kill all these things. It's, it can take time. And obviously, <laughs> we are getting used to the area, used to the controls and trying to get this guy. It's taking time. And you gotta be like you gotta be careful. If I go running after this thing, everything on the bottom like is a visual meter and a sound meter. If I go through the woods this way, it's loud. So I'm wearing a set of headphones through my controller and it sounds Amazing. You rub up against a a branch and you can hear it. it. Sounds like it's rubbing off your coat or something. So yeah, kind of the I don't know the whole the whole the whole thrill of the hunt. Oh, there's more blood there. The thrill of the hunt, kind of. What it's all about, right? It's just you, your environment. And you kind of got to be. Wow, this is beautiful. You kind of got to know that uh, you are the. You are the predator. Hmm. I don't know some about these hands though. <laughs> Who walks like that? Do 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 So I don't mm. I don't see any more sign. Something seems wrong. It's a little bouncy when you look down, like I'm getting a little dizzy. It's going this way. Heart's beating fast. I got a little thing at the bottom, which is a heartbeat. And I'm breathing heavy. Am I out of shape? 
guess if you go fast oh I know why I know what oh okay so if you press down on the on the left uh, stick that's why now the hands are gone okay that's not so bad now so you press down on the right on the left stick and you can go in run mode now it's in run mode and your hands your hands uh um show up in non in non run mode then you don't have any hands and you don't bobble you hardly bobble at all so phew i feel much better all right well that's actually a good indicator that um How is this deer? That's a good indicator that uh, you're running. At least you know. Hmm. Where's this deer? Like in here somewhere? Hmm. The trail kind of stopped. So there was exam tracks. Oh, oh, oh. White tail deer running footprints. Oh, did I do this? Yeah, okay, the blood. Bleed rate very low. Why did I not see these before? I wonder if you have to activate them every time. Yeah, the textures look nice. The rocks look fantastic. <laughs> the far off distance looks great. Very detailed. This is a different critter right here. Where's the blood? Oh, you know what I wonder? So, blue is the one I'm tracking. And white is a different, different animal. <gasps> is he dead? Here's my gun. Detached sight. Whoa, I just jumped. Alright, get the gun out. Gun. Wrong button. Gun. Select gun. Maybe I can't. Can I select gun? Why can't I select gun? I'm not good. <laughs> All right. Well, I bagged me a doe, I think. Confirm trophy. Oh, there it is. Confirm trophy. Okay, well, I got the gun back. How'd that happen? All right, examine track, confirm trophy. Let's go. Let's confirm it. Confirm trophy. X. You want to get oh, there your we go. bearings. There are lookout points spread out all over the reserve. Oh, it shows you where you how you hit them. Oh, I 
cracked him in the, I cracked him in the elbow. <laughs> so you get some cash, cash reward, an XP reward. So female, forty kilograms. You can toggle the the metric and imperial system. Fur type common. I tracked him for one in a four or five kilometers. Difficulty one. Trivial. Trophy type none. So yeah, it says 54 XP. It says 395 cash. I don't know. The weapon score, weapon type. Huh. Oh, oh yeah, check that. Oh, yeah. so your first hit was there. My second hit was. Second hit was there. Oh my gosh, it tells you where. Look at this. Right radius ulna. And then in the flesh. It's called flesh wound. Dude, that is wicked. Ah. <laughs> oh, he was he was injured. So here he was, and then got him in the knee. Or her. And then it shows you where. Huh. That's... That is crazy. <laughs> okay, we're going to accept that. Wow, that's great. The harvest screen details the specifics about your harvest, including directional information. There's no shortage of ways to earn money as a hunter. No shortage of ways to spend it either. Wow. And now what do I do? Go back to the cabin area. So manage sites, select equipment. Oh, 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 oh. That's a different gun. Attach site. There we go. Oh, okay. Gun gun model looks good. Manage sites, select equipment. Get equipment to select. Detach site. Manage sites. No, oh, I mean I just got the one. I just got the one gun. I can do that. Crouch. It's Y. A is jump. I think Y was reload. Binoculars, call, lure, gun, binoculars. <laughs> if I can zoom in with the binoculars. Ah. I'm still trying to how to select things. What is that? Like a light? Alright, how do I select the binoculars, people? Not A. <laughs> okay, select. Come on. Binoculars. A. Select binoculars. Binoculars. <laughs> it's not A. <laughs> Do I press? Select. I pressed A and I jumped. Oh. The hell? I'm confused. So, uh, lure. That's the lure. That's the lure. That's that's a call. That's a call. That's binoculars. Can I zoom? Put them away. All right. I put the gun away. I put stuff away. Okay, down is put away. <laughs> this is look at look at that. It's beautiful. So I guess I just keep hunting. Yeah. I had a phone somewhere. Camera, phone, phone. So 
click the phone. Am I talking? Is it a lookout point? Okay. I know where that is. How do I jump? <laughs> Before I jump all of them, I can't freaking jump. I gotta go to a lookout point. Getting a lay of the land. Okay. Whoa. There's a lookout point. Oh yeah, neat. Point of interest, and this is, uh, what's this pink thing? It's the pink. I don't know. How far are we in here? 38 minutes. Wow, it's been 38 minutes and I'm... I feel like I've been... Not long at all. What's that thing? Is that where I got the deer? Oh, that's another track. My phone tells me... You can use your phone for tracking. That's kind of crazy. Alright, so left. Nope. Gun. Binoculars. Lure. Uh. Alright, down puts it away. Up does something. Whoa. Turn up the hill. Yeah, this game's beautiful. My heart's beating. All them beers. All them beers I'm drinking. Right. Wow. This is great. So the rocks start looking wet when it rains. And the and the plants look wet. Alright. There was a uh let me go to the map. A little all the way over there. Oh I know where I am now. So I gotta go I go west. Look at this, like this mist rolling in. It actually physically is rolling across the screen. That's great. It's like stormy. Wow. Close to the lookout point. Going up the hill. Oh, thunder! I don't know if it actually shows any thunder. Oh, this is great. Like being in the forest. There's the lookout point. Keep your feet moving, I see. Just yep. remember to take a breather before shooting anything. <laughs> okay. Yeah, your heart, your heart rate, your little uh, noise icon at the bottom. So so far, this game is not difficult to get used to. You know, you start, you start to get used. You know, you're kind of like the first impression. Um, how difficult is it to get used to? It's not difficult. It's I'm struggling kind of with the D-pad with all these other things here, but I can play with that a little bit more later. 
Um, I figured out the running. <laughs> and uh, But control-wise, it's it's so good. Like this first-person view is great. I don't think there's a third-person view. Um, but, you know, like I said, it's a slow and steady game. You know, you got to take your time and bag the big one. Um, and, uh, and recycle. Or keep your environment clean. Throw away your trash. Um, because somebody's going to drive up here and collect garbage. No, I get it. I'm just... I'm just kidding. We gotta be all environmentally friendly. Alright. I'm gonna head up to the top and uh, we'll probably start to wrap it up when we get to the top here. Let's see. Yeah, walking is it's slow. Walking is slow. I say that blood's rust. <laughs> Everything looks great. So there's apparently a f uh, you can uh, travel by four wheeler in this game. You can travel by four wheeler. Which maybe we'll get to in another video. Whoa! Aw! Look out, point. Leighton Lake District. The rain splattering off of the thing there. Survey. Would you look at that view? Never gets old, I'm telling you. From up here, you can see a lot of great hunting spots in the area. Mm. Valmont's not only where Hope set up camp, it's also famous for the railroad bridges along the old North Pacific line. Uh. Keep an eye out for them if you can in between blacktail hunting. Or, why not use them as vantage points? I once bagged a whitetail from the Runaki Bridge. Be sure to stop by one of the outposts. You can find pretty much anything you need there. That's great. So when you go to the lookout, other things start to unlock. What is this? It's another lookout. Whoa. So another lookout point. 30 minute walk. So when you get to lookout point, then you can find other things. There's like um, an outpost. Um, other undiscovered places of interest. So that's neat. Kind of like a... Assassin's Creed, where when you go to the top and survey the area, a little bit of thing, you know, things kind of get unlocked a little bit. This map is hu pretty huge, though. I mean, I only it's been about an hour, and I've only done this section here. Um. So yeah. <laughs> well, folks, I'm going to stop here. Looks like I can level up. I'm going to mess around with the menu some more and um, mission complete. I talk about a, there are the outhouses, there they are. <laughs> but um, talk about, you know, a way to just kind of chill and, and explore and uh, have a good time finding animals. You don't even have to hunt them. You just find them, take pictures with your camera. <laughs> so, yeah, this is great. All right, ladies and gents, thanks for watching this video. Hunter Call of the Wild 2019 edition. Stick around for some more videos at some point. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you again soon.